Hey everyone, just a quick little video to show you how to make anything into a Blazor component and even make it routable. So I have a .NET 7 default template here and I'm gonna go into the triple W root and see what we got. Uh, we have our loading thing here, um, UI for errors and some markup for, you know, bootstrap and CSS. So if we go into pages and main layout, um, you can see that the layout here will inject the, the body, which is kind of anything will go in there. But let's say, for example, here, why not? This is a good thing that you can make a component. You can take any HTML and make it a component, right? Pretty awesome. So I'm going to take this as an example. What would you call this? A, a about? Sure. Why not? Cut. And then we're going to go add a new empty, sorry, a new item. And we'll say a about. That is not a good name for a component because it's like, looks like a mistype. All right, I still got that other one open, but what I'm gonna do is just plop that in. It formatted that quite nice. And uh, let's say we're gonna say save. And then over here where it was, hopefully, I'm gonna say A about, and we're done, son. You can check that into source control, commit blindly to master, that's the, way that we do it, you know, in the Wild West, just, just completely do it. That's it. Now, let's say, for example, you want to have something different of the link. You could say, hey, what we want here is like a URL. Okay, no problem. That doesn't exist, obviously. But let's say we wanted to give it a parameter. And we're going to say string or public string. Got to put that. Public parts are better than private parts. And then we'll say URL or URL. It's like when you had a bad taco. And then I think it's, you know, that's correct, but forget about it. I'm just gonna say this, or do I just paste? Yeah, so it wasn't like Copilot is, uh, you know, more of a co than a pilot in this case. So we have that. So what that's saying is, all right, I'm gonna have, uh, and I'm crazy because I like doing this, but what that's saying is we're gonna have a parameter called URL. If you don't set it, it'll be that. But that allows you to put a parameter here. So you could say URL, and then you'll say HTTPS, you know, your your mom.com. That's your favorite website, right? And then you're good to go. And what will happen at that point is it'll override this one as you want it to. But if you don't use it, you don't have to. It'll have a default set. And that's it. That's how you do it. How do you make that routable? Easy. What you what you do is you go over here. And if you're using it in the razor file like this and you're not using a code behind, it's a one page. And then you're gonna say, yeah, about, thank you. That was a pilot, not a copilot. Uh, do I need that? No, I don't. Uh, but they let you keep it in there because they allow mediocrity, but you don't need that. So that will route. So when you like, it'll show there, no problem, right? But it's kind of a weird inception um, you know, nested loops thing, because if you route to that page, it'll actually show this and this, and you know, you don't want to have routable ones in the main layout, so to speak, because it doesn't do, um, you know, um, uh, minor nested routing, but this will be a page. Now, let's say you had not at all in the razor file, you have it in a code behind, you know, with this uh, thing here, you can say, extract it to a code behind, and I believe it'll even bring in the page. Nope. Well, that sucks. So what you want to do is take that page thing that you don't really want there, and it did not put it there. And you don't need this because that less is more, and you probably don't need, I guess you need anything that's not gray, unless you use a global, uh, global using file or whatnot. So keep it like that, and then all you're gonna do is go down here, and you're gonna say route, because my caps lock is obviously on, and then, um, uh, no, I don't need that at all. You could just basically, well, you probably actually do want that in this case. So you could do it one or two ways, but let's just keep it easy um, because what happens with the parameters is if you want to put them in as route parameters, which that'll be weird because you can have some slashes in the URL. So too many slashes might be weird when it comes to like, you know, unloading that. So let's just keep it like this for now. And, you know, a weird ass, a weird ass example because of this, having this, you know, to, um, to do it, but there you go, that's routable now. And that will route to that page. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's basically the main difference. You can take anything you need and make it into a component. Like let's say you wanted to have an H1 here with, with, the, with the name inside. 
super easy. You just right click here and you go to add new, um, new item and you're gonna say H1 or um, let's say it's a app, like just in case there's name collisions, app H1 dot razor. I could type, it'll probably save you some time. And we're gonna just say, um, we're gonna say public. And um, you actually probably wanna use instead of that, you're gonna use something like this, child content. Child content, super cool. It's like a better version of a string because you can put whatever you want in it, right? We're gonna say public render fragment, render fragment. And it's by convention, if you have only one render fragment called child content, all you gotta do is, um, you know, drop this in here and um, say child content, child content, right? And that's a special one, meaning that you can kind of inject things into it. I realize it's called app H1, right? So you should probably change these to this, you know, cause I probably copied it wrong. And then when we're over here, all we have to do is say um, app H1, and then we're gonna say, yeah, counter. That's pretty cool, right? And you can put anything you want in there. Now, on the other hand, let's say you wanted to not use render fragment like that, because that's like a way of dropping things inside. And trust me, you wanna be inside um, because you could do other things in there like add divs and all that stuff. But if you just wanted a straight string, right? Um, let's say you're not gonna have anything else other than that, probably don't wanna have that. We'll just say text, right? If you don't wanna use child content, you can basically just say that. That won't work, either compile time or whatever. And you're gonna say um, text equals counter. That is a way of like doing it on the parameter level. And you don't even need this end part. You know, the fact that they include this here with that is because you wanna put something inside. But if you're not putting something inside, all you gotta do is this and you're done. So that's one way of doing it. Now, if you wanted to make that routable, again, you know the way. You kind of go over to it and add a page thing here, or you can extract to a, a code behind block and you're good. And it's just that easy to go around and find all the blue and convert it to the dark hunter green, because when you see all the green, it's kind of cool to think everything's a reusable component. Thanks guys, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.